Imagine a day without your morning coffee, fresh groceries, or the fuel to drive your car. Sounds impossible? Well, it's not as far-fetched as you might think. Our world runs on a complex network of supply chains, like the veins of a body, pulsating with goods, commodities, and essential items. The lifeblood of these veins? Truckers. These tireless men and women, the unsung heroes of our modern society, are the ones who keep our world spinning. They ensure that the shelves in your local supermarket are stocked, that your favorite cafe has the beans to brew your morning latte, that the gas station has the fuel for your car. They are, in every sense, the backbone of our daily lives. But what happens when the backbone is threatened? What happens when the lifeblood of our supply chain is cut off? This unsettling reality is not a dystopian future. It's a potential scenario that we are facing now due to a shocking decision by New York's governor, Kathy Hochul, a decision that could potentially lead to truckers' bank accounts being shut down. Now you might be wondering, why is this important? Why should we care about truckers' bank accounts? The answer is simple. Without access to their financial resources, truckers cannot operate. They cannot fuel their trucks. They cannot maintain their vehicles. They cannot pay for their daily expenses on the road. And if they cannot operate, the supply chain breaks down. Your morning coffee, your fresh groceries, the fuel for your car, all these could become scarce. The ripples of such a decision could be felt far and wide, disrupting our daily lives in ways we might not even anticipate. So, as we delve into this issue, let's not forget the vital role that truckers play in our lives. Let's not forget that without them, our daily routines, our comfort, our convenience, all could be compromised. Without truckers, our daily lives would look drastically different. Governor Kathy Hochul's recent decision has sent shockwaves through the trucking community. Imagine the life of a trucker, a life on the road, a life of long hours spent delivering everything we need from food to clothing, from medicines to machinery. Now, imagine that lifeline being abruptly cut off. That's the reality truckers are facing in the wake of Governor Kathy Hochul's decision. This isn't just about truckers, though, it's about the ripple effects that this decision could have on the supply chain and the economy at large. Trucking is the lifeblood of our economy, with the American Trucking Associations estimating that over 70% of all freight tonnage in the United States moves on trucks. So what happens when that lifeblood is suddenly drained? The immediate effects on truckers are clear. They're left scrambling, trying to figure out how to keep their operations afloat in the face of this decision. But the long-term implications are even more concerning. Consider the supply chain. When the flow of goods slows down, it's not just the truckers who feel the pinch. It's the grocery stores that can't restock their shelves. It's the hospitals that can't get the medical supplies they need. It's the consumers who can't find the products they want. And then there's the impact on the economy. The trucking industry contributes over $700 billion to the nation's economy each year. But with this decision, that contribution could drastically shrink. Businesses could close, jobs could be lost, the economy could take a hit that it might not recover from for years. And all this doesn't even touch on the potential geopolitical implications. With the global economy being as interconnected as it is, a disruption in the U.S. trucking industry could send shockwaves around the world. This decision could disrupt the very fabric of our supply chain, affecting everyone from the everyday consumer to large corporations. Adding fuel to the fire, Trump's New York trucker boycott is creating even more uncertainty. Let's delve into this a bit. The boycott was initiated by Donald Trump, the former president, as a means to protest against what he sees as unjust treatment of truckers in the Empire State. He called on truckers to halt deliveries to New York, a move that could potentially cripple the state's supply chain. Now why would Trump do this? Many believe it's a response to Governor Kathy Hochul's decision that resulted in the shutdown of several truckers' bank accounts. Trump, known for his outspoken nature, deemed this move as an affront to the hardworking truckers and decided to rally them to his cause. But what does this mean for the truckers? Well, it's a double-edged sword. On one hand, many truckers feel vindicated by this high-profile support. They believe it brings attention to their plight and could potentially force the government to reconsider its decision. On the other hand, the boycott could worsen an already tense situation. New York is a major hub in the national supply chain. A halt in deliveries could lead to shortages in essential goods, escalating prices, and even potential job losses. This could not only affect New Yorkers, 
but ripple across the country, affecting everyone. Furthermore, it adds another layer of uncertainty for the truckers. They are caught in a tough spot to join the boycott and potentially suffer financially, or to continue their work and face the risk of their bank accounts being shut down. In essence, Trump's boycott, while a powerful statement, may end up complicating the situation further. It's a chess game where the truckers are the pawns caught between a rock and a hard place. This boycott could be the tipping point that pushes the situation from bad to worse. Faced with these challenges, truckers are not standing idly by. Indeed, the trucking community is known for its resilience and unity, and this situation is no different. They're responding to these unprecedented developments with a multifaceted approach, one that's as diverse as the truckers themselves. Some are choosing the path of public protest, a powerful way to make their voices heard. They're organizing rallies, staging slowdowns, and even embarking on cross-country drives to bring attention to their cause. In a world where visibility is everything, these public displays of unity and strength send a clear message. The truckers will not be silenced. Then there are those who are taking a more legal route. They're challenging the decisions in court, arguing that their rights have been violated. Lawyers are working round the clock, filing lawsuits and preparing arguments. They're not just fighting for the truckers, they're fighting for the principles of fairness and justice. But it's not all about protest and legal battles. Many truckers are using this as a chance to engage in open dialogue, to educate the public about their work and the challenges they face. They're speaking at town halls, appearing on talk shows, and making their presence felt on social media. They're sharing their stories and giving a human face to the issue. What's more, there's a growing movement among truckers to support each other during these trying times. They're setting up funds to help those who are struggling financially, offering emotional support to those who are feeling the strain, and reminding each other that they're not alone in this fight. In all these ways, the truckers are responding to adversity not with defeat, but with determination. They're showing the world that they're not just drivers, but fighters. Truckers are fighting back, but the question remains, will it be enough? If this situation continues, the consequences could be dire. Imagine waking up one day to find that the shelves of your local grocery store are empty. You drive to the next one only to find the same scene. This could be the harsh reality we face if the truckers' bank accounts remain shut down. Without access to their funds, truckers wouldn't be able to refuel, maintain their trucks, or even pay for their living expenses. This would lead to a significant reduction in the transportation of goods across the country. Now let's take it a step further. With the scarcity of goods, prices will inevitably rise. This is basic economics. When supply drops and demand remains the same, prices go up. This inflation could hit hard, especially for those living paycheck to paycheck. The cost of everything from bread to gasoline could skyrocket, making day-to-day -day living increasingly difficult. But it doesn't stop there. The economic fallout could be far-reaching. The trucking industry is a vital part of our economy, contributing hundreds of billions of dollars each year. If it grinds to a halt, we could see a ripple effect across other sectors. Factories may have to slow down or even stop production due to a lack of raw materials. Retail stores might not have anything to sell. Restaurants may struggle to find ingredients for their menus. The list goes on. And let's not forget the truckers themselves. These are hardworking individuals who keep our country running. They're already dealing with long hours, tough working conditions, and now their livelihoods are at stake. This could lead to a massive loss of jobs and a surge in unemployment rates. The stakes are high and the clock is ticking. Let's hope for a swift resolution to this crisis, because if it continues, the fallout could be something we've never seen before. In the face of this crisis, it's clear that action is needed. We've covered the unsettling reality of truckers' bank accounts being shut down. We've discussed the shocking decision by Governor Kathy Hochul and the profound implications it carries. We've delved into the role of Trump's New York trucker boycott and the response from the truckers themselves. We've also explored the potential fallout of this situation, highlighting the strain on our supply chain and the threat to our way of life. What's clear is, that this isn't just about truckers, it's about each and every one of us who rely on these vital services. There are potential solutions out there. Maybe it's policy change, maybe it's support from local communities, or perhaps it's a shift in the way we view and value our truckers. Regardless, action is needed. It's needed from us, from our leaders, from anyone who values the smooth functioning of our society. 
So let's start the conversation. Let's get involved. Let's do whatever we can to support our truckers. Because ultimately, it's time to stand up for our truckers, for our supply chain, and for our way of life.